Welcome everyone. This is video number nine in a series based on my book, Learn Harmony V3 for PIC 32 MZ. In this video, number nine, I will show you how easy it is to convert a Superloop project from our earlier videos to run under the control of the Free Artos real time operating system. As a reminder, all of the custom source code used in these videos is available from GitHub. If you have not already downloaded the file, learn hv3 underscore figures dot text. Do it now. Before we continue, I want to give you some information about the Superloop and Free Artos task scheduling methods. Preemption and task scheduling are capabilities of any real-time operating system. The Harmony Superloop is an example of an abbreviated Artos that uses interrupts for preemption and run to completion task scheduling. Free Artos is an example of an Artos with preemptive task scheduling. In this case, the application is divided into tasks with priorities that can be scheduled and executed at specific times. When the scheduler is run as a result of a timer interrupt or a task completion, the highest priority task is activated and run. When a task is blocked, waiting for a resource, the preemptive Artos would place the blocked task on a scheduling queue and start executing the next higher task in the queue. This provides uninterrupted flow of logic. When the blocked task is ready to run and it's the highest priority, it will be resumed the next time the task scheduler is run. Extensive documentation about free Artos is available at the website shown on the screen. So let's see how these concepts are implemented in a Harmony project. In the Superloop project, the SysTask function calls a series of routines that run to completion before the next one in the series is run. Then the SysTask function is repeated forever. That's so the super loop has it initialize and then this infinite loop all it does is call sys tasks and you should never never return it just keeps going until the program is stopped. Now free artos um, meanwhile um, the tasks are created you still get the, the initial system initialized but then you create the tasks right here in the main routine and you give it a name and some stack size and priorities. So this is where you can define your tasks with different priorities. Then you just start the scheduler and like the super loop, it's, it stays in there forever unless you get some error, in which case there's a trick here that they use to uh, allow you to um, debug it or find out what happened, but normally you wouldn't go this way. So the, notice the two are very, very similar in structure. Um, so there's not a lot of new new concepts here, just free artos allows preemption of the task scheduling. All right, so uh, to convert a super loop Harmony project to a free Artos looking project, the following steps uh, have to be taken. First, we have to download the free Artos library from GitHub. Then, you have to add it to um, uh, the project you want, uh, in which you want to use free Artos. You configure it, configure the free Artos, run MHC to create. Free Artos aware files. Replace the Superloop logic with Free Artos controls if if you need to. Replace the timing in any application state machines with Free Artos API calls. And do not change the MH, MHC created objects such as the USB library and the TCP IP library. So, with that said. Uh, let's go ahead and convert uh, one of the, the first simple project that we did back in video number four.
Okay, if we're going to add free RTOS to the project, we have to download it from the um, repository on GitHub. So we go up here to Tools. Okay. Tools, Embedded, Content Manager. Next. We made the connection and Okay, the remote packages we're looking for is the um, free Artos. It's down near the bottom. Well, somewhere there. And we hide this one. Sim says free Artos. That's what we want. So, download that now. Accept the license. Download it. Okay, we'll check it out. Go to the local packages. There's all the ones we've done before. And there's the one we just downloaded. It's there ready to go and we're using those version 10.3.1 um, probably this isn't the latest free artos version but it's the latest one that works or has uh, integrated well with harmony so don't don't download free artos separately from this or you'll get a version that may not uh, work so We'll close this, and then we'll have to add add that library into uh, the project. Okay, for our first conversion to FreeRTOS, we're going to start with the uh, MZEF base project. We're going to clone that. This was the simplest one we did, and so we'll duplicate that. And then change its name to MZEF Base RTOS. And okay, then go to uh, MP Lab and open that project. And And we'll just change the name, rename it, add our dose at the end, so we won't be confused. So we've got the MZEF base is the super loop version, and then this is going to be the Free Artos version. Okay, now to add that new library to our project, we go up here to Tools, Embedded, Harmony 3 Configurator, Launch It, and up comes notice that uh, we've got later later local packages available than the ones we used in the um, original project. So we always want to use the latest, so let's go with continue. All right, now we have a complete clone of the uh, MZEF base project. Now we have to trans form that into a free Artos project. So the first thing we have to do is get rid of any of the timing information that's used for scheduling because free Artos does that automatically. So we'll get rid of timer two and timer three. 
and we're going to add in the free Artos library over and configure that one. And we're going to change the minimum stack size to 512, the total heap size to 128,000, remove task notifications and time slicing. Okay, and now that we've changed all of that, we're going to have to regenerate the MHC code based on this latest these latest changes. So, okay, there, there we are. We're we're set. Now what we have to do is overlay three three routines, tasks.c, main.c, and clocks.c with um, code for uh, free artos. So I've already uh, cleared them out like we've done before where you just select all and hit delete and so the file is blank. So let's Go back to our learn hv3 figures.txt like we've been doing. And the first file to overlay is main.c. Um, and so let's do it from there on down. Well, and we'll do tasks.c, same thing. This is essentially uh, a blank file, but like you saw in the merge, if, if you delete it, um, MHC will recreate it. So let's just put in a blank file and it won't recreate it. And then clocks.c, since that was a um, super loop logic, um, we have to adjust it slightly to take out any of the super loop stuff, which I've done here. So we, we still want to um, handle the LEDs and all that sort of thing. So we just had to make some minor adjustments and be okay. Now they're all in there. We've re recreated or regenerated the MHC stuff. So now all we have to do is recompile and reload the whole project. Green down arrow. So after this works. I'll do a little there, build successful, connecting the programmer. This is a very small one, so this should happen fairly quickly. If you're looking at the board, it will um, go blank while it's downloading. And then, boom, it's lights are blinking again. So everything is, has worked. So later, I will uh, we'll kind of do a little understanding of what we just did here. But this just shows that from beginning to end, it all works just the way it did before with the Superloop project. OK. We've just converted that simple Superloop project to use free Artos. So in the next video, we'll convert the USB CDC and the HTTP net Superloop projects from previous videos to uh, free Artos projects, respectively. So to remember to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.